Hi guys, Amit here with another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to process uh, the large Magellan cloud. Now, this is a set of images a friend of mine, Jonathan, uh, took from Foxton. It was during the last year's astrophotography camp. So, uh, I've got a few, few images and uh, to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to align them and stack them. So basically, just do some pre-processing on them. And in PixInsight, we have a batch pre-processing script. So you go script, batch pre-processing, and batch pre-processing. Now here, you can add all sorts of your images and then tell PixInsight to stack them, align them and uh, do all sorts of stuff um, so uh, I don't think it will actually stack them but uh, yeah just let's see what it does so I don't have bias and flat images uh, but I do have darks and lights now that should be enough to give you a decent image so first I'm going to do is going to add darks now I'll click on those darks or I can just go add darks and I can, I'll go back up my photos, my Foxton, Astrocamp, Large Magellan Cloud, Docs, and I'll just select all my dark images. Go open, and there it is. It's almost one minute. And then go light, add light, just go back to my lights and select all my light images and click OK. Now, uh, because these images were taken through, uh, uh, through a DSLR camera, I will have to go and say it's a CFA, Im they, these are CFA images. Now, those CFA images just tells that at, uh, the images shot on a camera had a bare pattern, so you do something called debayering. And uh, you select your debearing pattern for Canon DSLRs, it will be RGGB. And leave everything as this. Uh, create a registration frame. Uh, just select one of the center images. So get that. And then select an output directory. Now for output directory, I can just go. Large Muslim Cloud. Now I'll create another folder called Pre Processing. Create, and that'll be my output folder. Now, once you've done all of that, all you have to do is click Run. Now it will complain that there are no bias and flat frames. You can just go, OK, ignore that warning. And uh, this is going to go through all those images. Now it is going to take a while because it is trying to stack and align raw images. So while that is happening, uh, you probably just sit and wait and do some other work. Now I will soon get back with another part of this tutorial. Thank you.